Learners, kindly pay attention to the following sequence. Person gets up from the bed in the morning, puts on slippers, goes to washroom, switches on the bulb. Stands in front of wash basin and mirror and brushes her teeth. Washes face and applies cream. Comes to living room and picks up the mobile near a computer. Then she goes to kitchen and drinks water in a glass tumbler. Then she takes some tomato and sprinkles salt. Could you make out something from this? Perhaps not. Let me clear this up for you. Now here, the things which were explicitly shown to you like slippers, bulb, wash basin, toothbrush, toothpaste, mirror, water, cream, mobile, computer, kitchen slab, glass tumbler and salt are the things which we get from earth. Well, I know you must be wondering how. So, here are the details. Slippers are manufactured from plastic, which is the byproduct of petroleum and crude oil, which we get from Earth. Plastic is cheap, sterile, and convenient, and its invention has changed our lives. About 17 minerals and elements such as silica, soda ash, lime, coal, salt, tungsten, nickel, manganese, copper and silicon alloys, nitrogen, argon, molybdenum, lead, copper, zinc and aluminium are required in the manufacture of bulb. Materials used to manufacture wash basins, tiles and sanitary wear are vitreous china, fire clay, acrylic, stainless steel, high impact plastic. Vitreous china is the most common material used for the manufacture of sanitary wear. Vitreous china is made from a mixture of fired white clay and finely ground minerals. Toothbrush is made from plastic, which is a byproduct of petroleum. Toothpaste is manufactured from most commonly used abrasives such as hydrated silica or softened silica, calcium carbonate, also known as chalk, which are extracted from non-metals we get from earth. Fluoride is a naturally occurring mineral that is added to toothpaste to help protect your teeth from cavities. To manufacture mirror and glass, most commonly used material is silica, which can be mined or refined from sand. Metal coatings such as silver, gold and chrome are used in manufacturing mirror. Water is the main constituent of Earth's hydrosphere. It is vital for all known forms of life. Cream bases are manufactured from clays. Mobile phones cannot exist without mineral commodities. More than one half of all components in a mobile device, including its electronics, display, battery, speakers, and more, are made from mined and semi processed materials and minerals. Minerals like silica sand, castorite, bauxite, sphalerite, chalcopyrite, tetrahedrite, arsenopyrite tantalite, wolframite, graphite, and spodumene are used. Do you know that it takes more than 33 minerals and elements to make a computer? 
The vital computer ingredients consist of aluminium, antimony, barite, beryllium, cobalt, columbium, copper, gallium, germanium, gold, indium, iron, lithium, lanthanides, manganese, mercury, mica, molybdenum, nickel, platinum, quartz crystals, rhenium, strontium, selenium, silicon, silver, tantalum, tellurium, tin, tungsten, vanadium, yttrium, zinc and zirconium. All these elements we get from different minerals. Finally, the petroleum industry has a major role in the computer, as all the components are housed in a plastic case. Kitchen countertops are queried slabs of solid natural stones like granite, marble and diorite. The salt we use is the mineral halite. Let us explore how geology plays its role in the construction of our house. Foundation and sidewalk are constructed using concrete consisting of limestone, clay, shale, gypsum and aggregate. Driveway is made of concrete or asphalt comprising petroleum and aggregates. Exterior walls are constructed of concrete block or brick which is made of clay, stone or aluminium siding. Many times rounded pebbles are fixed on the exterior wall to give a finer look. Roof may be covered with asphalt shingles made of petroleum and a variety of colored sands, fiberglass composed of silica sand or corrugated iron. Plumbing fixtures are made of brass composed of copper and zinc or stainless steel which is made up of iron, nickel and chrome. Interior walls are usually wallboard made of gypsum. Slate is used to decorate the interior wall. Windows are made of glass which is manufactured from silica, sand and feldspar. Door knobs Locks and hinges are made of brass or steel which are copper, zinc, iron ore and alloys. Toilets, sinks and bathtubs are made of porcelain or clay, iron or plastic. Sewer system is made of clay or iron pipes or plastic pipes. If the house is painted, paint is manufactured with mineral fillers and pigments. Minerals used in paint and pigments are ochre, orpiment, realgar, hematite, chalcopyrite and malachite. The sandpaper which is used as abrasive paper for removing previous paint on the wall is made of coarse and fine grains of sand. So, we can point out all the geological materials that an individual uses from rising in the morning until retiring at the night. As an individual, we need to understand and appreciate 
that everything around us is linked to geology in some way or other. Such knowledge and understanding would create immediate interest amongst us. An informed citizen will be better able to appreciate the impact of geology on everyday individual lives and will be better able to recognize the geological aspect of societal problems such as water scarcity. In this program, we will take you on journey to discover geology around you. Try to connect to geology on a personal level and observe and apply the knowledge you have gained. Think about how the concepts you are learning apply in your everyday life as you walk around on planet Earth. Have you realized that everything we use that has not been grown either contains or relies on materials that have been sourced by a geologist? Geology is the branch of earth science that studies all aspects of the planet, its history, its composition, internal structure and the changes it has undergone or is undergoing. Geological knowledge is essential for the sustainable use and development of the natural environment. Geology is a magnificent and unique science. What makes it so unique, you may rightly ask. Well, a good geologist has to know something of everything. Physics, chemistry, geography, maths, biology, engineering and many many more. When we discuss geology, we talk of earth. It is important for you to note that earth consists of four spheres which are in continuous interaction with each other. Atmosphere is blanket of gases around the earth. Hydrosphere is water portion of the earth. Lithosphere is the solid portion of the earth. And biosphere sustains life on earth, which means that it hosts Earth's ecosystem. The knowledge of Earth processes will help us to understand the effects on the delicate balance between these systems. So learners, Till now we have discussed a few aspects of geology in our daily life. In the next part of this program, we'll talk about some other domains of geology. Thank you.